Hi, I'm Greg Jackson. I do uh, some consulting for Kingdom. This is Joe Daddy Stevenson. He does all the fight choreography and trains the fighters. And we're going to talk about what's wrong with a lot of fight scenes. And Joe is going, because he's the expert now, tell us how we fix it and kind of why we do what we do from our angles, etc. Joe! Thanks, Coach. We, uh, we taught all the actors the exact right way to do everything, which is tight, compact, um, flawless. Because when you're fighting, like the best way to see a punch, if you can see right here, like is with your peripheral vision. So you see my hand coming at you through the angle, but if you see it coming straight forward, your vision doesn't work that way. So in, when we fight, everything's tight. That way you don't have a big, big peripheral view. You're like, oh, here it comes, here it comes. No, everything's tight down the pipe. Only problem is you can't see that on camera. The difference between real fighting and movie fighting is subtlety. Like in real fight, I don't want Joe to see my right hand hit him here. But if you don't see it, then you don't know what happened. So movie fighting has to be dramatic, or what and I like you, to call dance fighting. Mm, it's gotta be wider. Wider, it's gotta look dramatic. Well, a good example is like, he could throw for, if we had the time to do every, every shot, we could have the camera set up right here. We could say he throws a right hand and it would be perfect and just miss and I would show my head reaction. And like right here, you can see the miss. If he passes it, you can't see the miss. So you learn cool angle stuff like that. You learn right here, you, you're not gonna see that the fact that we're six inches, boom, I just gotta sell it with my reaction. So you learn on a two dimensional plane. If my hook, is going to, if I'm gonna go, here's, a, here's an example, here's my hook, you're gonna see a miss. But if we move the camera in a second, you won't see a miss. Right here, you see a miss because there's a clear gap. If you move over right here, now because you see two dimensional, it looks like I hit him, but I'm still the same gap. And it's about placement of the camera, reaction, sound effect. Um, now, in an average fight, that was one hit. You gotta do that like, I don't know, you're gonna throw like 200 punches in a fight, you're gonna throw moves in there. You're gonna have to show his reaction and his his recourse, like, oh, or his uh, not, his recoil, like, boom, I, I throw that hook, he comes back with a hook, boom. Sells me, I've gotta, I've gotta be able to make the fight look like it's real without faking it. Right, and that's one of the big things is with the show, we didn't want like the wire dance fighting, like, you know what I mean? Like, where, which is cool, like if it's that kind of movie, if you're watching the, the crouching dragon hidden I love thing, that movie. That's an awesome movie. But that's not the show. Like we're not jumping up on the cage or doing like 360 whip kicks or whatever. They jump on the cage, like they do Superman punches where they step off the cage and punch because people want to see it. But it's been done, so we do like once, maybe twice, I think we've done it twice. Right. But that's a realistic move. People have actually used that move in the cage. We can't use anything that I've never seen. I've never write something that looks cool that I've never seen in a real fight. I've I've seen, it. we've seen it all, coach. Like we've, we've seen, seen a lot. so much can happen. I've seen cups fall out. I've seen socks fall out of cups. I've seen, I've seen breast pads fall out. I've seen, seen it all from grabbing the fence. We write in little things like grabbing the fence or yeah. grabbing your opponent's clothing yeah. to make the fight feel real and have that, that grind. And the punches, as you see, it's just a matter of getting the right angle. Luckily, we have a huge editing team. Like yeah. here, here's, here's another example. Here's the punch and he sells it with his reaction. And if you got the right angle, you didn't see the gap. So his reaction sold it. But like, it's as easy as sometimes like, you'll see it in a fight scene. The guy get, sells the reaction early. Go ahead and boom. And then th we can't have that. We can't have that at all the because- timing is off. We have real fighters watching our show, calling us saying, hey dude, you know, I've never heard one bad thing about the fights. Never. And I want to keep that. <laughs> I right. want to keep that. That's good. I mean, that's our job, right? And what's cool about having somebody like Joe with that depth of experience and knowledge is you, you can't call him out. Like he's fought longer than you have. He's fought more than you have. So if you want to call out his fight scene, you're going to have to pack a lunch because Joe's been there and done that. The hardest thing to do is they scripted a boring fight. Yeah. And I'm like, how am I going to do this? It's not in me. Like, I had to write down where the guy's getting held and then the other guy's holding his arms like down and then, come on, ref, come on. I mean, and taking his nose. Oh, yeah. 
And that was one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. I even, to do that fight scene, I casted a long-haired friend, um, Mark Dickman, to fight, just to give it a little bit more feel of aliveness, because it was scripted boring. So, what you have to do in fight scenes is understand that even though it's based in reality, it's still dance fighting, and you still have to have the angles, you still have to have these cool reactions, and writing that line is something that Joe I got a good well. question for you, Coach. Mm. Top level fighters, they do choreography. See, not a lot of people know, like, we have a game plan. Coach, for the Nate Diaz fight, I'm hitting Nate, and Nate looks at me, and part of my language, because, is this all you got, you fucking pussy? And I look at him, and I'm hitting him, and I'm like, no, but it's the game plan. And I say it just like that back at him, because I realize he wants to bring me into a position to where I'm anger, and I forget my game plan, and I'm just going off. But it's the game plan. And Coach and I had did the game plan a million times. A million and Choreography, one. or what, choreograph yeah, right. yeah. it over and over. And now we bring that to the fighter, or to the actors. We d give them the same choreography that they would have to to go into a fight. Like, you can't fake this. They can fight. I would put them against the guy that's sitting on the couch talking trash because that guy's not trained. These guys know how to break their arm, how to choke you unconscious. It's not something that doesn't work. Which is awesome. We love it.